and welcome back to Angina's Creations. Today I'll be showing you how to make your own water bottle labels. Um, I'll be using Microsoft Word. So you will open up your Microsoft Word. Every tutorial I'll tell you that the first thing I always do when I open up my document is I go to File, Save As. And then right here where it says save as type, I will scroll down and I will click Word 97 2003 document. And I am going to name this water tutorial. Click save. Now, I also know that I get lots of questions asked um, how my margins and all that stuff. I never switch my margins, but I would um, show you how they are on my screen. So again, the size of my page is a regular 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. My orientation will be on portrait. My margins are on normal top, left, bottom, and right. It's one inch. Right here where it says spacing, it will say after 10 points, and that's all that mine says. So, again, because I also get a lot of questions that it doesn't fit right on the page or anything. So, make sure for your water bottle labels, it is on portrait mode on your orientation, not landscape. Now, I am going to show you how to do your own template. You will go to insert. You will go to shapes and you're going to click on the rectangle. You're going to make any size rectangle. It doesn't matter the size. And right here on your height, make sure you, your um, template is selected. Make sure you're on your format tab. And right here on your right, it's going to say height. You're going to click on that. Everything's going to select blue. You're going to manually type the number two and enter. Then on your width, you're going to manually type 8.25, enter. And then this is your template. This will fit any standard size water bottle. Now, I know a lot of people also do the um, mini water bottle. So the size for that one, you go to insert, shapes, rectangle. Make any size rectangle on your screen. Make sure it's selected. You go to the format tab. You go to height, and the height for this one that I use is 1.76, enter. And the width for this one that I use is 7.6, and enter. And this is for your mini water bottles. Again, the measurements for this one, your height will be 1.76, and your width will be 7.6. For the other size water bottles, I always use uh, the height is 2 inches, and the width will be 8.25. Write it down, guys. I, um, I always suggest always having a, a binder or a notepad and pen and always write down your templates so you can always go back to your wherever you wrote all your templates down. So I'm going to delete the little mini one. And the way I'm going to show you really quick how I design mines. Um, what I like to do is I this is for the regular standard size um, water bottle. What I always do is I go back to insert and shapes. Again, you don't have to design it the way I design it. It's just giving you an, um, you know, a preview of how I design mine. So I will go back to the rectangle and I will make another rectangle and I will size this one. The width for this one, I would um, do 8 inches. And then the height on this one, I will put 1.8. And then... I will press down my shift key and I will select both rectangles and on my format tab where it says align, I will put align to middle and it's not align to center as well. So align to middle and align to center. So both of my rectangles are in the middle. Hold on, let me move the top one more over and let me do it again. So align to middle and align to center and there you go so my back rectangle I'm going to select it I will go to format and where it says shape fill you can fill in any colors you would like right here all these colors and if you don't want any of these colors you can also go to picture and right here you can add any background that you saved from your computer 
again how to save images i have a whole tutorial on how to save images you could go to google look up glitter backgrounds um stripe backgrounds and you will save it to your computer and then you could add that as a background in the back i am just going to add a solid color so i'm going to add the color royal blue right here this rectangle i will select it make sure you go to format shape fill and fill it in any color of your choice i am going to click on black now always i add a nutritional facts and i add a barcode and i also add the little logo of recycling all that you can go to google and let's say you want a barcode so you will look for bar code clip r or png and then you have all these different barcodes I am going to make a tutorial on how to do your own barcodes, but if you don't have the time and you want something quick, just select anything from here. Now you need to make sure you select your barcode and then from here you'll save it. So you will right click and save it. And it will be saved to your computer. Again, you could do the same thing for your nutritional facts. I have a whole tutorial on how to do your own nutritional facts as well if you can't find one that you like from here. And then the recycling logo. You will look for recycling. Logo PNG. And then you have all these. And then again, you will have to click on one. And then right click and save it. And then again, when they has like these little um, gray and white squares in the back, that means it's a transparent background. So again, always look for PNGs because they always have transparent background in the back. I also have a tutorial on how to remove your own white backgrounds on Microsoft Word. I will list all those tutorials in my description bar. So let me go back to Microsoft Word because I do have everything saved already. Now to add individual images, that's another thing that everyone gets confused. When you want to add an individual, a uh, whole entire background, you will go to format and again, shape, fill and picture. This is where you add an entire background to your image. And I recommend having all your images and background saved into individual files as well. So you don't have to be looking one by one. So I do have a background folder that I have everything saved. And then let's say I will click on this background and click on insert. It will fill in my entire background like this. Now, if I want to add uh, individual images, you will need to go to insert picture. And this is how you add your individual images. So you go to pictures. And then I am going to add a nutritional facts. And I have a whole folder for that as well. I have this. Now, when you add individual images, you need to make sure you have it selected. You will go to the format tab, wrap text in front of text, and it will bring it to the front. Now, here's an example of a nutritional facts that I found, but it says 2017 graduate facts. Now we're in the year 2019, so I can edit this. Only thing you have to do is go to insert, you go to shapes, you click on the rectangle, make a rectangle right in front of the 2017. Make sure your rectangle selected, go to format, shape fill white, and shape outline white. And it completely covered it. Now, hit down your shift key, click the rectangle. Uh, wait, first click the rectangle, then your shift key, then your nutritional facts. Go to format, group, and group. And everything is grouped together. Now, I need to put 2019. So, I will go to insert, word art, click on the word art, and you will type 2019. Click OK. Now, you can't see what you just wrote, so make sure you're on the format tab, wrap text in front of text, bring it to where you wanted to put it at. Right here on your format tab, go to shape fill, shape fill it the color you would like. And 
and there you go now select your word and hit the shift key select your nutritional facts go to format and group and now everything is selected now size your nutritional facts as small as you want to fit in your nutritional i mean to fit in your water bottle sorry it's all a preference if you want to put your nutritional facts on your right or your left. I always, I don't know why I always put mine on the left. So I am going to put it here. There you go. Now, I also added barcode. So I will go to insert picture and click on a barcode and click on insert. Now, format, wrap text in front of text. And I always put my barcode over here on the right. You can't see the numbers really good, but just look for a barcode that has a whole entire white background. Now, I also gonna add the recycling logo. So insert picture. And I have that in another folder. So here's the logo I'm going to add and then insert. Wrap text in front of text. Now, uh, let me make the barcode smaller now in the middle is all your preference depending on the thing you're doing you can add pictures you can add words you can add images it doesn't matter let's say this i did add a graduation fact so let's make it a graduation um water bottle label so the first thing i you can look for frames you can also go to google and look up frame pngs And you will have all these frames. Then you will click on one. And make sure it's a transparent background in the back. Which one, this one does have a transparent background. So I'm going to right click, save picture. I am going to look for the folder that I have of all my frames and then I am going to save it. I will go back to Word, go to Insert, Picture, look for the folder that I just saved it. Select the frame that I just saved and insert. Now wrap text in front of text. Now this frame that I just saved, it does have some words in the bottom. So all you have to do is go to crop and crop those words out. Now I have this frame. I am going to make it smaller. right there and then I'm going to add a picture of a person in the middle so all you will have to do is go to insert shapes and click on the circle and make the size circle that you will need for the middle of your frame Just like that and put it here and then you will click on this and then you, on your format tab you go to shape fill and you will go to picture this is how you're gonna add a whole picture of the person in the back 
And let me see if I have any pictures here. Um, I probably don't have a picture someone, so I'm just gonna add Marilyn Monroe here. So click on the picture and click on insert. And then now you have the picture of the person there in the middle. Just like that. If you want to add individual words, you will go to insert, word art, click on word art, and then put um, class of 2019. And then click on and then the fonts right here you could click any font you would like I also have a um, tutorial on how to download your own fonts from the font.com again always check my description bar I try to um, list everything of all my previous tutorials as well now click OK and then you will go to format wrap text in front of text text in front of text and see how this has a white um, background so you will go to recolor set transparent color click on the white And this is just some options. So that's how you will make it. Now, you need to make sure you group all this together. So you will go to insert, click on the back rectangle, click on the middle rectangle, the nutritional facts, all the words, your frame, the circle, the scroll, nutritional facts, everything. Make sure everything is selected. And then you will go to format, group, and group everything together. And now you can move everything as one image just like this and now you will go to copy and paste right click copy right click and paste and you will put this one on the bottom five labels fit in one sheet What I always recommend as well is to go to print preview to make sure everything's inside your uh, sheet of paper. Right here on top is a magnifying glass. You would click on that and that is your print preview. Once you select that, you can see how exactly it's going to look when you print it on your sheet. Make sure nothing's out of the paper so you don't waste no ink. Again, if you are selling your files, make sure you go back to home. Either you're selling your files or you are sending it to a customer or you don't have a printer at home and you need to print somewhere else you need to save this as a PDF file again because if your customer or somewhere else is not compatible with your software all this the font and everything can change and you're gonna be mad because you spend money so make sure you go to file you go to save as and right here where it says save as type you will scroll down and you will save it as a PDF file once you save it as a PDF file no one can change anything that you made on your files and that is all you will email it to your customer or email it to your local printing place I am going to show you really quick on how I assemble it and it's really easy so see you over there okay so the materials that I'm going to use is just a regular pair of scissors a water bottle I already drank out of the water bottle. This is just for the tutorial. Water bottle and um, 
waterproof sticker paper. Uh, the brand is called Milk Coast. Um, again, everything will be in the description bar. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but I recently got approved to be an Amazon influencer. So I do have my own storefront on Amazon and I will post the link down below. You will click on my Amazon storefront link um, and you can see all the supplies that I use. I will always upload um, all the supplies uh, when people ask me where do I get this from and blah, blah, blah. So it will be on my Amazon storefront. Again, you could just click on the item you would like and you could purchase from there. It is no extra fee to you guys. It's the same way as if you would look for the stuff yourself. But we do get a small commission. So that'll be a small way y'all can help me out. Now, um, I am going to print the labels. I am using Epson Work 47710. And because this paper, it is glossy. I don't know if y'all can see it's glossy. I am going to put my print settings on glossy paper. I will uh, change the settings in my computer and I will also change the settings on my printer. That is, I'm going to print on glossy paper. So let me print these out. Alright guys, I want y'all to see the difference between me printing on glossy, um, putting my settings on glossy and not putting my settings on glossy. On this one, I didn't put settings on glossy and I don't know if you can tell how the background looks if it's not on glossy. This is regular printing settings and then here I printed on glossy settings and you can tell the difference it printed much clearer that's why I always every time I use um, glossy paper I make sure I change my settings so this is the glossy settings and this is the regular settings so always make sure to change your settings on your computer and also your printer okay so I cut one out and all you do is peel it off because it's thicker paper. And then you would just apply it to your water bottle. Make sure it's more perfect than this. And that is your water bottle. Again, I really appreciate you watching all my tutorials. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up and comment down below if you have any questions about this tutorial or if you want another tutorial for me to make. I do have a list of tutorials that I'll be making soon. I just been really busy uh, completing orders. That's why I haven't been posting as much. Again, always check the description bar. Like I always say, I will have all my previous tutorials. And check out my Amazon front store. Bye-bye.